Welcome to a new video and today I'm going to talk about the 14 Waffengrenadier Division der SS, die Galicische Nummer 1. The 14 Waffengrenadier Division der SS, die Galicische Nummer 1, was formed in April 1943 from volunteers from Western Ukraine and is banned in May 1945 with the unconditional surrender of Nazi Germany. The division fought on the Eastern Front throughout the war, especially in Ukraine, Czechoslovakia and Slovenia. The division's emblem was a clawed Ruthenian lion with three crowns, depicted on a shield. This lion stood for Galicia, the region where most of the volunteers came from and was a symbol for Ukrainian nationalism. The division was formed in April 1943 from volunteers from the Ukraine and more specifically mainly from the regions of Galicia and Volhynia, which were then part of the general government. Since most of the soldiers were Greek Catholics, chaplains were admitted to the division, highly exceptional for the Waffen-SS, but common for the Wehrmacht. Troop training began in Dibica and ended in Silesia in April 1944. Due to the deteriorating situation on the Eastern Front, it was decided that the unit was combat ready and was sent to the front. In June 1944, the Galician No. 1 was sent to the front nearby Brody, in the Ukraine. There the ill-equipped unit was almost completely destroyed. Only 3,000 soldiers managed to reach the German lines. The division was rebuilt and sent to Slovakia, where the communist-inspired Slovak national uprising was imminent. The situation in Slovakia was becoming dangerous for the Germans. On 29th of August, opponents of the pro-German regime of President Josef Tiso, led by Defense Minister Fenernand Katlas, and supported by two Soviet airborne brigades, had started an uprising against the Germans and their supporters. Arla Mainite SS Panzergrenadier Regiment Schill succeeded in capturing the town of Banska Bitrishka and the process captured many of the leaders of the Slovakian uprising. It was decided to bring more SS troops into the battle and battalions of the 14th Waffengrenadier Division SS and the 18th Freiwilligen Panzergrenadier Division Host Vessel were called into Slovakia. Into this way, the last remnants of the revolt were crushed. By the end of September, the Galician No. 1 was moved to Silina to clean the region of communist Slovakian partisans. The division continued to perform this task until April 1945, when it was again moved to become part of the newly formed Ukrainian National Army, which was to fight against Stalin's Soviet Union. However, this formation never went into action and the division was forced to surrender to the Soviets in May. These are some known war crimes of the division. On the 28th of February, the Polish village of Huta Pinechka was attacked by soldiers, of which there is still a debate whether this attack was committed by German and or Ukrainian soldiers. The villagers were killed and their houses set on fire. The number of victims is between 500 and 1200. However, the Ukrainian sources deny the fact, while Polish researchers support them. It is known that five officers of the division served in concentration camps and one officer in the Einsatzgruppen. However, this happened before the division was effectively formed. If you liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe and hope to see you in the next video.